hello guys welcome back to the youtube channel of the concept guy and today we will see first a question based on adsorption isotherm and then we will find out how to plot the equation how to get out get the various values that we need so first look at the question here so adsorption of gaseous substance a is being performed in an iso adsorption column using activated carbon as adsorbent at 95 degrees celsius for this particular case the following adsorption isotherm model can be considered as suitable for all pg that is a pressure gauge pressure less than 0.05 atm so here we have the adsorption isotherm equation and this is the following data that we have so first of all what it has asked us is that in order to find k and cm so this is k and cm so in order to find this we have a we have to do a linear regression that is first we have to plot a line a linear curve with 1 by pg in the x axis if the y intercept of the curve is 1 by cm so we have 1 by cm and as the intercept and 1 by pg as the x axis so first we need what is the slope and what is in the y axis so if you see this equation what you can do is you can take a reciprocal of the lhs and rhs so you will get 1 by CAD is equal to this term up, up here and finally you will get the equation 1 by CAD is equal to 1 by K CM PG plus 1 by CM. So it is just the reciprocal of this equation. So finally we get that 1 by CAD this option is the y-axis so we will do 1 by CAD 1 by all of these terms and PG is 1 by PG is the x-axis so let's get started we will use Excel for this so hello everyone let's now plot the equation so what we have to do is let's make it uh, x-axis and y-axis first for x-axis uh, we have now this is x-axis 1 divided by this is x-axis so let's write write the numbers first 0 0.004 0 0.006 0 0.008 good and this data this is 8.31 8.31 uh, e, e minus 5 we will write e minus 5 as uh, this is into 10 ratio minus 5 so excel uh, if you write in Excel e minus 5 some magnitude this is a magnitude into 10 raised to a minus 5 this and this is are same now 1.53 into 10 raised to a minus 4 1.5 1 1.53 e minus 4 2.13 2.64 2.13 Let's check out the values 8.13 10 to the power 5 uh, minus 5 1.53 2.13 2.64 Yes correct 0 0.2 0 0.4 Okay Now we have to take the reciprocal of this like 1 by x 
and we need 1 by y so now what we will do is we will first write is equal to x to the power x to the power minus 1 500 now click on this and you will get this plus sign over here in the mouse and drag it so that we can get values accordingly so for this value we get this this for this this for this this is a particular feature in excel for again this y is equal to this value to the power minus 1 which is this again click on this then they were plus sign click and drag okay so now we have the values let's just uh now let's plot it okay so how do we plot click on insert then go to any of these let's try out scatter first so in scatter let let's try out this smooth lines scatter okay here we have this and this is the empty chart uh, right click and you will get an option select data click on it now you need to add a series so first series name let's take adsorption and the x values is the x values are x values these are the x values okay so these are my x values now for y values again what you have to do is click and drag above so we get this straight line okay okay so our plot is ready next what we have to do is to get a trend line so click click on these points or the graph itself click on add trend line uh, on linear and display the equation on chart r square value is 1 and let's close it so this is our equation as you can see this is our equation so for this we have got the value of uh, intercept and slope so our intercept is 1034 and our slope is 21.99 with this data we can actually get the value of k and the value of cm which comes out to be value of k comes out to be around 47 and value of cm we can get it directly is equal to 1 by this this is a value of cm that if you see then option a is the value of cm and if you go to value of k the value of k is nothing but uh, is equal to this divided by so intercept divided by slope is the value of k hope you like the video please like share and subscribe